Hey guys, I'm here to tell you about a software update for your Insta360 X3. In fact, this software update affects not only the camera, but there's also an update for the Insta360 app and Studio, which adds some features there as well. There are basically three new upgrades or features added to this kind of ecosystem, and I'm going to take you through them right now. The first and probably most interesting or exciting feature is the ability to reframe, edit your 360 videos on the Insta360 app, but now you can export them using the Insta360 Studio. So what that means is that you can take your app, edit your videos on there using the keyframes or even using the gyroscope, using the viewfinder mode to physically move your phone around and reframe that way. Then you export that file back into the camera, plug the camera in to a laptop, select the same video that you edited on your phone, and then all of the edits that you made on your phone will now appear on the Insta360 Studio. The main benefit of doing this is that you can now export that video at a higher resolution, at 4K, you can export at a higher bit rate, and you can export in the ProRes format, so basically you can get a much better quality video than if you exported on your phone and also the ability now to use the viewfinder mode and get that higher quality export because obviously it was not possible on the studio to pick your laptop up and start moving it around. So that way of reframing your video was not possible uh, using the desktop studio, but now it is. You just have to do it via your phone first. So let me just take you through the exact process of editing on your phone and then getting those files to your desktop studio to export at a higher quality. Connect your camera to your phone via the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Select a video that you want to edit. Start reframing either using the standard keyframes or by tapping down and selecting that viewfinder mode and using the phone's gyroscope to move the image around. Once you've done editing, tap on the options key on the far right hand side of the screen. You'll see an option that says edit data and then select export to camera storage. Now plug in your camera to your laptop, fire up the desktop studio, drag the same file in that you were editing, and it should also have a new file that ends in .ins data. And now your file will appear in the desktop studio. And you can either carry on editing, do some more edits, or just export. And remember, you're gonna be able to export at a high quality, high bit rate, and just more varied export options. If you want to go through this process, just make sure when you're editing your videos that the phone app is connected to the camera. They have to be connected because once you've done editing on the phone, you have to transfer the file back over to the camera. So far, you can only use that viewfinder mode or the normal keyframes or the deep track to get this uh, phone to desktop editing process, but you can't use the shot lab features or any of the other AI effects. They do kind of hint in the uh, press release that more phone features may be coming to the desktop studio via this process, so let's hope so. The next upgrade is an improvement in the pure shot photo mode in your X3. Now you can shoot pure shot photos at the 72 megapixel resolution that the camera is capable of. Previously, if you wanted to select pure shot mode, uh, that it would limit it to 18 megapixels, which is quite a downgrade from 72. If you don't already know, pure shot is basically a way to boost the quality of your images. It basically takes this DNG raw file and adds all of the edits automatically to it. The software estimates or tries to work out what's the best way to edit this DNG raw file as opposed to you doing it yourself. And 90% of the time, the images will look way better when you use the pure shot mode. So 72 megapixels, the images appear sharper. There is less noise. It works best in low light or overcast or indoor conditions. And yeah, I have noticed a difference. I went out and shot some photos and, and the pure shot images at the higher resolution look sharper, have less noise and look more attractive. Even with this pure shot 72 megapixel upgrade, the X3 still isn't like a stellar, a photography camera, it's fairly decent, but you wouldn't want to use it for high-end virtual tours, but for lower-end virtual tours or just to shoot, you know, general photography in 360, it does a pretty decent job. The final upgrade for this round of software updates is the ability to now use your X3 as a webcam. So this has been promised for quite a while, I think pretty much since the camera came out, I think it was in the uh, marketing, but now with this update you can use the X3 as a fairly decent webcam. Obviously download the firmware, 
um, upload it to the camera and when you go into the menu settings you'll see under where it says normally says U discs mode you can see there is now a webcam option just tap that when you plug your camera in via USB to your laptop or desktop the camera will restart and now it should be available as a webcam there are three different modes for using it as a webcam. You can select uh, to have a split screen, which uses both lenses, so it would be split between top and bottom using uh, both lenses, as we can see here. Or you can just to select either using the front lens or the rear lens. And you can change those options by tapping on the physical buttons here. That will change which lens is being used as the webcam. And if you use that split screen mode, then you could basically use it as kind of a conferencing camera if you put it in the middle of a table then you'd be able to see everyone around you. And the quality is not too bad. It does have a bit of a fish eye effect. There is also an option to um, have the camera track your face. I don't particularly like it because it zooms in a bit too much. It's better than any built-in webcam for, I guess, 98% of laptops. So that's pretty much it, guys, for this software update. I believe this is only applicable to the Insta360 X3. I don't think these updates are um, available for the other Insta360 cameras. I'm not sure if they're ever going to come. Until then, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.